I'm an illegal immigrant of the United States of America. Got brought over here illegally when I was a year old minor girl. Actually trying more like six months. Trying to put me under Sharia law and shit. I want to get reported back to Mexico. Where I'm from. And uh, I want my social security to stick with me the entire time. I find out you don't, you're going to answer to the United Nations. And they're going to sanction every American citizen. Cobra right. Fucking understand me, Social Security? You answer to me, motherfuckers. I don't answer to you. 18,000 racketeered out of me, and I fucking notified you of that shit. No, the best that you can do is 5,000? No, you stole me $13,000, assholes. And you owe me back payment and shit. You guys violated federal fucking law. You guys gonna fucking make up for it. Or are you gonna answer to the Mexican drug cartel? Do I make myself fucking clear? I'm owed that money. You gonna do it or you're gonna answer a fucking cartel. Trust me, you don't want mama to step you don't want my mama to step into play that's the highest ranking cartel member on the fucking east coast and west coast. Mama is fucking a high roll of shot color. She calls the shot, it's as good as done. Mama, would you please protect your baby and call the shot and make them give me my thirteen thousand dollars? Or better yet, they can pay me the fucking eighteen thousand and I cut you a check for nine thousand right there on the spot. Mama, you want to throw away $9,000 on a food card that's uh, worth about uh, $200 a month because I won't need it because I'm going to be in another state. I'd rather you take it. Or I do you get me the money that I need. Or maybe you just say, no, honey, $9,000 enough on food card with $200 every month on my food card. You go ahead and take the 18000 honey, get yourself a better life. I need you to re-adopt me as your fucking daughter. Mama wears glasses. Mama got auburn red hair. Correct? Or mom? You're a fucking feed. What is she gonna do with me? You're a fucking feed. Getting back to the cartel. Think about it. She's more than thinking about it. Yes, it's gonna knock to a cartel. Cartel's gonna fuck every American up. Cartel's thinking about it. Cartel's really thinking about it. Yes, cartel is jumping in and fucking all the Americans. On Mama's behalf. Yes, not on mine. Not thinking about it. Correct. On my behalf, too. Americans scared shitless about this point. No. Americans are looking at the government like you dumbasses. No. Americans are looking at me like I'm fucking smart. No. They're looking at me like I'm dumb. Don't think about it. No. They're looking at me like I'm savvy. Every one of my sisters wants to be with me because that's what they think of me. Every one of my sisters wants to be with me. Good fucking modest sisters. No. They want to be connected to me. Yes. They do anything to have a connection to me. You know what I'm saying, not, not intimately, you sick fucks. My sisters do anything on my behalf, give me social security money, anything just to be connected to me. Yes. If this Jennifer Bengal, you want to be a fucking Mexican, uh, Mexican cartel member. Okay, here's what it takes. You gotta give me back all my back payment from social security. I can bounce out of here 
I get my passport and visa. So I can go to Mexico and I can fucking put in work. The vacuum is the uh, main West Coast shot caller of the fucking Mexican drug cartel. <coughs> Meanwhile, I'm in Mexico and you're calling me up. Hey, we need numbers up here. And I'm like, cool. And I go over there and say, what are the locals and Americana Policia fucking with cartel again? And uh, we need to send out uh, fucking 30,000 presses up to fucking Washington State. We know poquito and we know much, much more. People like this, uh, but I don't know much, much more. Smoke it. And then they go, ah, oh, gracias, senorita, gracias. I'm like, yeah, de nada, mi amigos, de nada. Oh, do I know what Spaniel, uh, off the back of my head, I know what is Spaniel. You want to learn it? Fuck off. $20,000 for me to teach you proper street slang Latino. Proper street slang Spanish. It's going to take uh, $20,000 for me to teach you that. Or a person that wants to learn. I teach you the whole street slang language. $20,000. That's what it's going to take. Every other Mexican member, it's $20,000 to learn our street slang. Okay? And then we kick back the Mexican Mafia. $5,000 to $10,000 taxes. Do not rip the Mexican Mafia. Dude, you rip the Mexican Mafia, they will rip off your head with a fucking machete. You pay your fucking street taxes. I always do, and I expect you guys to. Dude, I got a tax refund coming from the fucking Mexican Mafia. I paid up that many street taxes that they give me a tax refund. That don't usually, that don't usually happen. <clears throat> the Mexican Mafia, they gonna make sure that I get all my cards back. They got stolen at Donald Nutson's Northwest Sports Cards located in Tacoma, Washington, near Tacoma Boys. It's about uh, $900,000 worth of cards. And then uh, $100,000 worth of baseball cards. Fucking Magic the Gathering cards. And it was uh, it was 130,000 cards. About 5,000 5, count boxes and 38 2 inch thick binders with 200 pages in each binder. A, a fucking eight cards in each page, including eight Russian resets. You gotta prove otherwise, Donald Nuts, and you did not keep proper taxes on that. You did not fucking write out an itemized list like you should have. Whatever I say is in that collection, it's in that collection whether you want to admit it or not, because I got the proof. I got witnesses that tell me sell that collection to you. Okay? And I was saying I had alpha beta cards in there. If I did, I had beta lightning bolts. I had fucking Alpha Birds of Paradise. I had fucking Alpha Wrath of Gods. I had fucking eight Black Lotuses from Beta. Fucking revised Black Lotuses and shit. I'm telling you, this binder was stacked. Got hundred thousand dollars worth of cards. And then I had in the in the five hundred account boxes, they was all filled with decks. Like tier one decks. Better boss and uh fairies. The, the net deck fairies, I had three different builds of it. In that box, I have fucking, uh, I have fucking the, uh, the, uh, Guns of Nature deck where you, uh, empty the horns on turn one, or you fucking, um, or you fucking, uh, glimpse of the unthinkable, I mean, glimpse of nature into, uh, into, um, the, uh, storm card that fucking, a grape shot into a grape shot. I had eight grape shots, I had, I had fucking all kinds of shit up in there that people would just roll over. I was very respected before I sold that collection. Then people are going, you dumbass, and only for $700? Like, yeah, because Care One is fucking money. Go gamble. <coughs> so, anyways, I don't have a grudge against Carol. I just wish I had my collection back. Well, that way I could open it before I try. By the way, in that state, we're going to call it uh, LA Cards. That's not necessarily the name of it. Get the list. Somebody come into my shop. You got a beta lotus? Oh yeah, I got about eight of them. How many of them do you want? Two. How much you charge? 
mm, about two thousand pop. Oh yeah, here's four thousand dollars. Give me the two beta lotuses. Cool. That just bought me another beta lotus, and I had fucking send it off to get mint rated, and then fucking stick it in the case for a hundred thousand dollars. Because it's an authentic beta lotus. Mint rated at ten. I fucking tank the car chops. It's all really dirty. Again. Car chop is a 18. My car chop is 18 and up, and you gotta show out my ID. We only carry baseball cards. We carry Magic the Gathering. No Yu Gi Oh! No Final Fantasy. No Pokemon. We only carry Magic the Gathering and baseball cards. In my car chop. It's actually a collectible shop that uh, we acquire Hollywood items like a signed picture of Marilyn Monroe and we send it in to get it um, and graded. Then we pose a knee as a model and uh, I sign it Marilyn Banco Monroe. <laughs> and it sells for about $40,000 that people will think and drop the money on. Because I'm in the same blonde wig as Marilyn Monroe. We do the dot right there and uh, that looks like a mole. Then we dress me up in the same dress and I bend my knee and do her infamous pose where the f is blowing up behind her. And I'm standing there like that in those same high hills. <clears throat> and then we post it for $40,000. <laughs> because it's a replica of Marilyn Monroe. And my name, I sit in that. My name. That way you know. That way everybody knows that yes, I am Marilyn Monroe. Okay? That's why everybody knows it. I don't have the same middle name as my grandma. Right there. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Marilyn B. Monroe. Now you know, I got proper identification stating I'm Marilyn Monroe. Social Security Direct Express Card, it's a legal document. Got any questions? So, I'm going to open up this card shop and I'm going to hire Latinas, Jamaicans, African Americans, and it's going to be a minority store. Holding regionals, grand... Holding regionals, pro tours, and uh, states, and nationals. And fucking my store. I need a storefront that's about uh, 10,000 square foot by 10,000 square foot minimum. Preferably 100,000 square foot by 100,000 square foot like a convention center. That way we got big enough space for fucking 50 tables. To fucking hold the regionals. Grand Prix, we need about uh, 100 tables. Pro Tour, we need a 1,000 tables. Regionals, we need about 500 tables. We know how, we know what's, uh, what's what. People don't fucking steal my idea. That's why I'm wording it the way that I'm wording it. Okay? Now, we charge 50 bucks to enroll your deck with a valid ID that says that you're 21 years or older. There will be no more teenagers running for Grand Prix. You gotta be 21 and up to run for Grand Prix in my shop. You gotta be 21 and up to run for regionals, 21 and up to run for Pro Tour qualifier, 21 and up to be in my Pro Tour. And the Wizards, if you're willing to say that a 13-year-old can play Magic with a 50-year-old, that is fucked up and code violating is a motherfucker. Okay, you want to put age brackets on the tournaments from now on. Or I'm going to go to Mr. IRS and uh, CIA and I'm going to let them know what you do. With the Ukatabi Ring of Things card purchase, the, mus um, the um, sliver that's known as Penis Sliver. And then I'm going to send him a card, Rainbow Freddy Murder Instant Blood, with a picture of me. 
and we're gonna get your fucking company taken down. I'm the most feared and respected person on the face of the earth right now. Think about it. No, I'm one of the most feared and revered. No, I'm semi feared and revered. Guaranteed, I'm semi feared and revered. Everything on the West Coast respects me. No, everything on the East Coast admires me. Think about it. No, everything in America fucking admires me. No, they respect me. No, they're scared of me. Yes, everything in America is scared of me. I'm thinking about it. Everyone's thinking about it. Yes, everyone's fucking scared of me. Because they realize I'm part Colombian. Yes, and part Mexican. Yes. Tacos for them, Italian boss. Tacos. I'm calling it. They get the tacos. Everyone the fuck with me gets a taco. And I'll send them my best regards. I says. Send them my best regards. Everyone the fuck with me. They forgot two days to make things come true in my life. I'm gonna make things come true in every fucking American's life and we're in a fucking right as hell. You only think that you've been had. Fuck with me one time. Cartel, motherfucker. Cartel. 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 Fuck with me one time. 